In this example, I'll show you how you can perform a one sample T interval on a TI-84 calculator. So suppose we have a random sample of 50 Corvallis residents who pay for internet access and they were surveyed where the average cost of our sample per month for internet access was $37 with a sample standard deviation of $9. We're gonna calculate a 95% confidence interval. So we basically want to answer the question for a student in Corvallis, how much on average should they expect to pay in dollars per month for internet access? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to list out the values we need. So we need an X bar. This is our sample mean. X bar in this example is equal to $37. S, our sample standard deviation, is $9 we're going to be doing a 95% confidence interval. So our confidence level is 95% and our sample size is 50. So how do we calculate this on the calculator? First, turn it on, of course. Go to the stat button. So the stat button is what we'll use a lot. So then scroll over to tests and then you have a lot of tests and things. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see Z interval. It's one past that. So T interval, press enter. And here you have two options. You can put in data. So this will be like a list of data from one of your lists, or you can put in the summary statistics. I've actually already put them in, but I'll re put them in. So 37 is our sample mean, SX, this is just the same as our sample standard deviation, is nine. Our sample size is 50. And the confidence level we wanna do, make sure you always put the point in front of it. It has to be like a proportion in the calculator. So 0.95 for 95% and press calculate. And sure enough, we get an interval from 34.442 to 39.558. Since we're talking about a dollar, this is like our context, you know, we're looking for a dollar amount for cost of internet. We're going to write out our 95% CI for mu, that's the parameter that we're trying to estimate, the average amount it costs for internet access per month is from $34.44 to an upper bound of $39.256. All right, so hopefully this video helped you understand how you can calculate a T confidence interval for a mean.